Hello students, this is Indu Sharma, Faculty of Science from Suraj Group of Institutions. I welcome you all. As you know that we were doing chapter number 2 that is nutrition in animals and we have already done digestive system in human beings. Now today we will do digestive system of ruminants. Ruminants, firstly we should know the meaning of this word ruminants. Who are ruminants? These are those grass eating animals which digest their food in two steps. Firstly, uh, here I have drawn digestive system of ruminants. For example, animals like cows, buffalo, goat, sheep, all these are known as ruminants. Why? Because digestion part takes place in two types. For example, their stomach is four chambered. What happens? Firstly, the food will enter through the mouth. And then it will enter in this esophagus and after that esophagus the food will come in the largest part in the first part of the stomach which is known as rumen. Right here the food stays for some time and after that it goes back in a backward direction and comes again to the mouth. Right. So in this way there is a two uh, stage digestion occurs. Now if you talk about the grasses. What grasses mainly consist of? That is carbohydrates. And mainly in carbohydrates also there is cellulose. So what happens with cellulose? That only these are the organisms which have the cellulose digesting bacteria in their stomach. That's why they can easily digest the grasses. But in human beings there are no any kind of uh, this cellulose digesting enzymes. That's why we cannot eat grasses as such. We use them in a cooked form, right? So, firstly, there are di uh, cellulose digesting bacteria. Secondly, what happens? As I already told you, the food enters in the mouth, comes back to the esophagus and then in the first part of the stomach which is known as rumen. Here, the food stays for some time and there is a partial digestion of the uh, food takes place. This partially digested food here is known as cud, which is C-U-D. Cut. It is a partially digested food. Now what happens from here the food goes back to the second part of the stomach and from the second part it goes again to the esophagus and again to the mouth and here there is saliva is present which is secreted by the salivary glands. So the cud when mixes with the saliva means cud plus saliva. In the mouth, cut and saliva mixes together and then the proper chewing and grinding of the food takes place. You have generally seen in your house that whenever you see some cows or buffaloes, what they generally do, even some food material is not there, even then their mouth starts chewing and all. Uh, if you, you have uh, generally observed this thing, why do they, why uh, now today we know that why do they uh, do this thing? They just chewing the partially digested food that mixes the saliva and now this liquid form of food has been uh, properly chewed and grinded and it now comes again back in the third part of the stomach then to the fourth part of the stomach and after that this food will go in the small intestine. In the small intestine, as you know, absorption of nutrients as well as assimilation takes place. And after that, the food from the small intestine goes into the large intestine. Here, one more important thing is there is a part which is known as cecum that is present between the small intestine and the large intestine. And what's its main function is that if there is any cellulose particle which remains undigested is further again digested in this cecum part. Right? And after that, the large intestine, the food has been ejected out from the anus. So this was all about the digestive system of the ruminants. One more thing is what happens in the digestive system of a single cell amoeba. As we know that amoeba doesn't have any fixed shape. Right? It's a amoeba, it's a single uh, uh, microscopic organism which is uh, which we can't see with the naked eyes. It can be only seen with the help of a Microscope. So what happens in this? There are some vacuoles centrally. There is a nucleus. Outer is the cell, cell membrane. Here there are some pores feet which are present in the uh, finger like projections which are present in the amoeba which are known as pseudopodia. Pseudopodia. 
in which pseudo means false and podia means fit inside the whole body there is a liquid portion present which is known as cytoplasm it is a liquid portion also inside this uh, body there are two types of vacuoles are present one is the food vacuole and the next one is the contractile vacuole contractile vacuole now what happens there are some finger uh, like projections are there which are known as pseudopodia when uh, this microscopic organism which generally lives in the fresh water pools or lakes it feels or it smells any kind of food material suppose it's a food material which is present here so what does it do the cytoplasm generally moves its folds feet towards the direction of the food kya karega ye pseudopodia jo hote hain ye aage ki taraf protrude karenge aur dheere 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 this food material will enter inside the food vacuole a food vacuole mein kya hoga there is a digestion of the nutrients inside the food vacuole and finally there are exit of this waste material outside the body and this process also takes place with the help of this pseudopodia and contractile vacuoles are also present which helps in the uh, to control the amount of water present inside the body as it's a aquatic organism so in this way this pseudopodia helps in the a uh, capturing of the food also and also helps in the ejection of the waste material outside the body so it was all about the digestive system of this amoeba so with this we finish our chapter uh, i hope you really enjoyed it also learned it also please go through the chapter thank you and have a nice day